Hey guys, welcome to this first video in a series of tutorials teaching how to use Kden Live. So Kden Live has been my go-to video editor for a long time now. I really love this software. It's really fairly simple to use and it's very powerful professional software. And I would say it's pretty stable and reliable. I've used it under Linux for the most part and I'm just now starting to use it in Windows. So I'm running Windows 10 right now and I just want to demonstrate this software. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, go ahead and you can check out my other video. Uh, it's in the description of this video. It'll show you how to download and get started on Windows. Um, if you're using this on Linux, awesome, good for you. And yeah, follow along. The interface is the same whether you're on Linux, Windows, or Mac. Uh, so yeah, let's dive into just getting familiar with the interface first of all. So at the bottom here we have our timeline. We see we have video 3, 2, 1, audio 1 and 2. These are our different tracks. To the right we have a black screen. This is our project monitor where we can view, uh, well actually it's we can do project monitor or our clip monitor. So we can view clips that we want to add into our project and then we can actually view the audio and video of our project uh, and see what it'll look like with transitions or effects applied and things like that. Uh, right here is the different options, this panel in the middle, and all these panels can be moved around. Um, by the way, we can move them and have them be appear somewhere else. Uh, so that they don't have to stay right there. We can drag and drop them and configure it to wherever we would like. But this is just the default layout. Uh, so this section is our options for doing different kinds of effects. We've got all these different audio effects and video effects and filters that we can apply. And we can just search for a certain one. If we want to do like a fade, we can type in fade and it'll show us all the different fade options we have. And then over here on the left hand side is our project bin. So this is where we'll put all of our projects, all of the data we want to bring in. So if we want to bring in one, for example, right now, um, we could just go to project, add clip, and then we find it. It'll bring up a dialog. And I just go to that place on my computer where I want to add in. So maybe I'll do this TJ intro and go open. So this is the, the intro uh, screen for my video. I'll hit play and sometimes, this is kind of the glitch, this is only happening to me in Windows, but I hit play and nothing happens. I have to give it a little jump start and left click in the timeline and then it'll go. So that'll be fixed in a, probably by the time you're watching this, that glitch won't be here anymore, but at least it's happening to me on Windows right now. So if I hit play, nothing happens, I click the timeline and it'll start playing. So we can see this video here. Um, it's in my project, so it's not yet in my timeline. To get it down to the timeline, I have to left click and drag it down to either one of one of these three tracks. So the very lowermost track is where I usually put it on video one. And now we can come play it here on our project and see what it looks like. Awesome, that's pretty cool. We can scroll here. We can scroll through, we can uh, use our scroll wheel to kind of go to a different point in the video. This is on our project monitor again. And if we come down to the timeline, we can also click on the timeline. And see this is really small. If I want to make this appear larger, I can kind of zoom in. So I can go down here to the bottom right hand and I can zoom and make this kind of fill more of this space. And up the top it shows the seconds. So this is 0.2 seconds. This is, uh, wait, what is that? Or one, this is 1.2 seconds right here. This is two, so it's about a two second clip. It says the seconds across the top. Uh, we can also get uh, video and audio into our project by just dragging and dropping. So if you open up a window, I'll go to my downloads folder. Actually, I'll go to my music first. I have an audio file. I'll left click and drag and drag it up here. You always have to put it into your projects, uh, your project bin first. You can't just drag it down into your timeline. It won't work. You have to first bring it in. And Kden Life supports many uh, audio and video formats. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've ever run into trouble unless you try and drag in something like, uh, well, you can even drag in a picture. So this is just a still shot, a still image. We can drag that in. But if we try to drag in something that it doesn't support, I'm trying to think real quick, like this Inkscape shortcut. My goodness, it even lets us do that. <laughs> but some files it doesn't let us do. So just be aware of that. Um, if it's like a, a non-video, a non-media format, for example, uh, like this one. Let's do that. I want, I want to try to get an error message here. It's just not letting us do it. Uh, let's go back here to downloads and I can drag in. I have this uh, cyclist video we'll drag in here. And so, oh, it, it did bring us a, a, an error message. There we go. It says 
oh, perfect. So it, yeah, it wouldn't let us. If you try and drag something in, in that it doesn't support, it'll just come up with an error message. And that's what that was doing there. It's saying we can't do it. All right, drag in the cyclist footage. And now I can I can toggle through and look at all of these. I can look at this picture, look at this. This is a, a vector graphics image, which is supported also. So if I want to have this picture, I just drag it down to the timeline. I can put it in here after video one, or I can bring it up and have it be separate. And it's just going to play this still image for a little while. It's going to keep playing it. We can it'll go along this timeline. If I double click, it'll tell me it's playing for duration five seconds. But I can change this down to two seconds and hit OK. And now it's only going to play for two seconds. So it'll play this little video intro. And then it'll also play this video for two seconds, this still shot here. And if we want to add audio to this, we can just drag this audio file that I brought in. We'll put it down here and see what this sounds like. So then we have that audio file along with uh, this video footage. So now we have all three of these. And if we overlap this, we can actually overlap. And whatever the higher number track is, that's what will be, be uh, displayed first. So as soon as it gets to this video, it'll start playing this next one uh, after that. Uh, we're not going to apply any effects right now because I'm actually going to stop this video and we'll move on to the next tutorial uh, where we will get into doing some of these effects. But I just wanted to show roughly, um, I kind of wanted to show the interface and what you can do. Oh, and one more thing we'll, you'll want to do is go into your project settings. Uh, so we go to project, where's that at? When you first open it, you'll, it should bring up and say what kind of things do you want to do. Clip, oh, here it is, project settings under project. So the project settings is where you'll decide if you're doing 1080p video and what frame rate you're doing it at. 29.97 is what I have mine set at. You can do four, you can edit 4K video. We can have our project be set up for just like 720. So if you're not familiar with these, you'll want to learn uh, and make sure that you're editing in the right kind of thing. I, I usually do 1080p, 30 FPS roughly for my YouTube videos. And this is the software that I use to edit all my YouTube videos and upload them. Uh, and then we have some different options up here too where we can create a new project. We can save our project, undo and redo. And then we can actually render out when we're, when we're ready and we can save our video. That's all I want to show for this. I don't want to get too deep too quickly. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one where we'll dive deeper into using uh, the timeline and cutting video, splitting and merging video together. Catch you on the next video.